total components as web components and use them in literally any app on the on the internet right you can just paste them into your raw html into webflow into framer anywhere you can sort of enrich that experience with total components right but it also works the other way because total uh, uses the web component standard you can use custom made coded web components in total so in this example right here i've got a web page with a nice robot um, and the robot here is basically uh, my i've got actually uh, well it doesn't matter uh, i think i've got a let me just fix that i've got a little space before my uh, my robot there it's a bit off center there we go so i can uh, I want to use an emoji picker to be able to change the emoji I'm showing here, but it takes forever to make one of those because you need like a hundred thousand emojis and arrange them. It's a whole thing. So someone already built that uh, and they didn't build it for Total. They just built it as a web component for anyone, right? Uh, so I've got one here on NPM called Emoji Picker Element, and it just looks like this, right? What I can do, I'm gonna go into the example here in the usage, and then uh, oh, on the usage here, the first thing we need to do is we need to grab the script tag. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it into my Total app. What that does is load the custom code for the emoji uh, picker so that when it sees that emoji picker tag, it knows, to render that as a custom element right uh, and then i can just pick this here tag and we're going to paste that into total and then we've got our emoji picker live right now in order to actually make this work and have this because i can i can like search for lol etc this the picker works but right now when i'm when i'm clicking it nothing happens right so i need this custom element to tell my total application that hey you need to update your uh, your main emoji here, right? So if we look in the documentation, we can see somewhere down, as we scroll, it's got like a JavaScript API here somewhere. Uh, here, right? You can add, there's an event listener here for emoji click. Uh, and that'll essentially let you, like, that's the custom event that's built for this component that lets you know uh, when something's been selected. So we can go and do that. I'm going to pick my emoji picker, go to events. And since that's not a standard web event, I'm going to add a custom one here. And I'm going to call it emoji click. And in here, what I want to do is I want to set this emoji variable. And I've got my event, and since Toddle's never seen an emoji click event, we can't really show any predates because the event hasn't happened yet, so we don't know anything about it. So we, we're just right now we can't really show any placeholder data, which we normally does for event. So we'll have to go blind. But in this, it said detail was kind of what it said um, in the uh, element right here. And I don't know if it says anything about it. we'll we'll have to test what the data actually comes back at. So we'll we'll try here. We'll try and click an event, and we're getting a weird object. That means it wasn't really an emoji, it was an object with a bunch of data in it. But we can see that on that object is a unicode property which gives us the emoji we want. So we're just gonna change our little event handler here to instead of just getting detail, we're gonna get out an array which is detail. So this is a little trick you can do when you're using the get formula. So get normally uh, like access is a property on the event. And of course this is undefined now and that's just because this event hasn't happened yet, right? But when it's there, it's gonna have that shape we saw before and we're gonna pick out the detail. That's the first part we got from the docs. And the second part was this Unicode. And by passing get an array, it says first get me the detail and then from the object that's the detail object in this, get me out the Unicode uh, property. And that should be the Unicode emoji. So let's try now. We can see as we're clicking these elements, uh, we are updating our emoji variable here. And that's the one we tied to our H1, right? So. That's how you do it. It's really simple to use custom elements for anything. And they've got custom elements for everything. Like Google Maps got custom elements built. Anything you're looking for, you can find a custom already built element that does that for you. Right? 
and it's as easy as copying it and pasting it in your Toddle app. If you haven't tried Toddle yet, go and try that. Uh, it's free to sign up. Go to toddle.dev. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to our videos. Uh, if you like it, give us a like. It helps a lot. And um, see you soon.